So what I feel like here is, first of all, with the Nine of Cups being the overall, let me start from the beginning, shall we? <laughs> this is both of you being clear on what it is that you want. But I get the feeling here that you're dealing with somebody who can't, they can't give in to that. For whatever reason, this person is stuck. And I don't think that they want to walk away from you. I really don't because the way that they come into this and the way that they come out, it's like they want to keep the relationship going with you. But for whatever reason, they just don't see how they can release themselves from whatever is holding them back from getting what they want here. So you coming into this with the Seven of Pentacles, when it comes to this person and starting things with them, I think that this is something that you have kind of like considered before. And this is like you looking at the relationship and going, is it worth the effort? You know, because I feel like with the Ace of Wands here, it is, you know, the beginning of passion. I don't think that this is a new relationship. I think that this is somebody that you may have had feelings for before or they have had feelings for you, but you may have been looking at it like it's not worth your time and effort. You know, but you're you're giving it like a second look. I don't want to say second chance because I don't think anything really developed here. But there is the potential for growth, right? And I it, it it kills me looking at this because this person is doing this to themselves. They would like to get to this place where they feel like they have everything that they want with this relationship, but for whatever reason, it's like they can't. Now, what's interesting is the Queen of Wands. You can handle this. I feel like you're coming from a place where you can manage this. And it's like, I still want this relationship. I still want this person, but they're mentally stuck on something. I don't think that they're looking at you as like, you can't move forward. It's like, just as soon as passion starts again with this person, you know, they immediately go into this place where I, I can't, like, I can't move forward with this. I want to, but I can't. Like, that's the conversation I'm hearing. But you're, you're good. Like with the Queen of Wands, I think you're fine. But I also think that there is a part of you that understands why this person is stuck. And I think that it's you can manage it. It's not about, you know, providing any support for this person. It's more of, you know, it's it's okay, right? Like I'm in a good place. I, I can invest in this if I want to. But I can manage whatever is going on with you. There's like a show of strength almost. But there is the attraction and the passion with the Queen of Wands, right? And this person may, may make you feel like really good about yourself too. But it's like you're, you're, you're going, I can handle this. Because you're still showing the Ace of Cups where it's like emotions are getting involved now. We want to start this. We want to begin this. But this person is moving into a place where they feel like they need to move on, but they don't. And that's the interesting part here. I think that they're considering you know, not getting involved or invested in this, but it's very much something that they want. It kills me looking at it. With the wheel, this is, you know, opportunities kind of coming around here. I look at it as like positive change, a fortunate turn of events here, right? But it is the ups and downs of, of fate, right? Like, I don't think that you're on the downside of the wheel here. I think that things are turning in a better direction. But with the King of Swords here and it being in between the both of you, I think it is about coming to a place where, you know, we're making decisions that aren't emotionally based, but based out of logic and reason where we're thinking clearly, we're coming from wisdom. You know, it's not that anybody is emotionally detached. I think that, you know, this person may be either drained or they continue to keep themselves stuck in a situation where they need to move on if they want to have this new beginning with you. But the thing is, is that there's so much emotion going on. You know, it's really about needing to make the right choice here, I think, with the King of Swords. Now, with the Two of Pentacles, though, they're not dropping this. They're not wanting to drop the relationship. I look at this as, you know, we're keeping this going. But they do have to make a choice, though, you know? It's like they're right there. They're right there as far as completing something out. They don't want to walk away from you. I'm telling you, this person does not want to walk away from you. But they are stuck with something. And it has to be taken care of. 
if we're going to see this new beginning and you knew this though and that's the thing with the seven of pentacles you knew this and then the three of cups and look at look at the the coming together here this kind of like emotional support celebration i feel like this is a good thing because of it being connected to the ace of cups but it may be that somebody needs to turn off their feelings for a situation and they need to end it you aries are coming from a really good place here it's like you're just waiting for the right opportunity to come around for this person to get out of this. And that may be a bad relationship or a bad situation. That or it's just something that's going on mentally and emotionally with this person that's preventing them from actually going after what they want, which is you. But you're in a place where, you know, it, it's you're you're OK with what's going on, I think. Because I always look at this temperance and think, you know, we're making peace with what's happening here. But with the Seven of Swords, if, you know, this is somebody who is needing to make a decision between you and another person, this is like they're afraid that they're going to get caught and they don't want to be in that position. And, you know, I, I think that this person is going to be forced to let go of trying to maintain this this feeling of being stuck and emotionally drained, it's like something's going to force their hand. And it may be that, you know, the truth does come out about possibly feelings that they've been keeping from somebody else involving you. But you're, you're okay with it. You're in a place where it's like you don't feel like you're doing anything wrong or anything bad that's, you know, how do I put this? It's not that the other person, the third party that may be involved on their side, it's not like they deserve to be cheated on or anything like that. But this person is not happy with where they're at. And it affects how they are able to go after what they want in terms of moving forward with you because the opportunity is there. You're ready to invest in it. You know what's going on with this person. Now, with the world, you know, once this person lets go or the issue is forced, you're looking at it like, all right, you know, this is getting closure on this now. Once this person lets go, you know, letting go of what they're keeping in balance, that's preventing them from moving forward with you. And I do think that you're dealing with a person here that has either another relationship going on or something that, you know, they're they're kind of keeping to themselves. And it's not necessarily in that case about being caught, but, you know, needing to face their own thoughts and feelings about this relationship. You know, if you're going to keep it going, then, you know, it's time to make a choice here to take some action instead of, you know, constantly trying to figure things out. It's like, you know, it's time to let go. But you see it as a major completion here. And again, with the Ace of Cups, you have this new beginning that is coming through from this person once they, you know, stop doing this like balancing act with something that they know they need to release. But something's going to force their hand. But then that's when they can give in to the Ace of Cups and look at you, you're happy, happy, happy. And it's like you finally have that coming together and you can celebrate it. And then you have the five of pentacles this may be a new relationship coming in for some of you where it may be a physical thing but the thing is is we're talking about a relationship where emotions are getting involved with the two of cups and i think that this person may be afraid that you don't feel the same way or it's you because there's this fear of like approaching you about it or you being af afraid to approach the other person like, look, I, I have feelings and I think you have the same feelings too. That's kind of what I feel like here. But this is like a newer relationship that I think is happening for some of you. Unfortunately, with the devil, we're talking about, you know, lust. It being a, a purely like a physical connection. But with the Ace of Pentacles, it may be that Either you or the other person here is wanting to make things a little bit more realistic because this is more than sex. This is just sex. It's just a physical connection and that's it. And I think that, you know, that's what you or the other person is fearing here. And it's like, I, I don't want to bring this up because they don't want to lose the connection. But at the same time, there's wanting to make this committed almost. You know, we want it to be more than just that physical now, with the wheel and looking at the Five of Pentacles, we are talking about positive change here. And then it turns into like this classic romance. 
but the thing is, is that you have to be willing to get to know this person. But then, you know, I say that and I look at the two of pentacles and think, you know, if they don't want this to just be a, a physical relationship, then they're going to have to say something, you know, but it, it feels fluid here. And I, I say that when I feel like it could go both ways. It's either Aries or the person that they're dealing with. But I do think that this is a newer relationship that some of you are dealing with here. What is going on? Okay. Well, that would explain it. Oh, wow. Really? But we're still looking at, you know, a turn here. Yeah. And then the magician. Now, again, this could be you or the other person. But it, I, what I feel like is happening here is with the two of swords, the reason why they're not wanting to bring it up again is because they have brought this up before, right? Even though this may be a newer connection that you're having with somebody, you may just see it as purely physical. But either you or the other person has extended an offer that was rejected. And it may be that, you know, you or the other person here with the ten of swords is, you know, looking at a painful ending with the situation if it's not going to be anything more. But the opportunity is there. It's just with the magician here, it's about somebody needing to make something happen. Now, there may be an opportunity for that coming around. And then we could be looking at a classic romance situation happening here with the five of pentacles because this isn't bad, right? But all of this is saying that if you want this to be more than just a physical relationship, you're going to have to do more to get to know this person. Because th there's like feelings there, but like actually making this a relationship, it's not something that's happening. Or if someone wasn't ready to do that, but it looks like it it's turning that way. But the Ten of Swords here with the Devil, right? It, it would make sense that you kind of get to this place where things are getting a little bit too painful for you and maybe it's time to, you know, look at possibly ending this situation. But things change though, and that's the thing, right? And somebody makes something happen here. And then the two of wands, and again, it's like, you know, taking some time out to get to know this person. There's flirting, talking going on. But that's only because somebody isn't putting forth the effort anymore. But something happens here in the relationship where I don't think that you can look past it anymore. The Page of Wands, this is about looking past appearances, getting caught up in the passion. But with the apology coming through with the Five of Cups, I think it's, like I said, something you can't look past anymore. Somebody is needing to apologize for something that they may have done. You may have tried to ignore it before. And they're really wanting to, you know, fix things here with the Nine of Wands. And there's this attempt to bridge the distance between you with the Six of Swords, right? But the problem is, is that because I'm, I'm looking at this person needing to put more effort into talking with you, flirting with you, having a connection with you, right? You, you need more contact with this person, but they're failing you in some way with that seven of pentacles. But I, I, and I kind of feel like there may be a part of you that just doesn't know if this is something you should continue. Like I look at let your friends help you and it's like you're reaching out to other people and wanting, you know, an outsider's perspective on the situation, especially if this person has fucked up before and they're apologizing for it and they're wanting to fix things, but they're not really doing anything to show that. Now they may be trying here, but you know, I feel like effort is lacking and then the Three of Cups. So, you know, there is potential here coming out. It's interesting. The Three of Cups. Three of Cups. <laughs> this one's a little bit different, though. And this is mending, you know, the broken heart, healing some of those issues, right? Having a better connection with this person. And I think that if they, they started putting in effort here and, you know, really wanting to talk to you and give you some attention, it could fix the issues. The problem is, is that this is a routine with this person where they may be constantly looking back at a past relationship or looking in on other people's relationships, you know, but this is something very specific. I think that caused some problems for you where you may have been forgiving of the fact that, you know, they were focused on an ex before, but I don't think that you can do that anymore. And there, you know, is like a need for this person to apologize for doing this. 
you know, it, it may be that you have caught them looking at somebody's Facebook page or some shit like that, right? And confronting them about it. Like, why are you still looking at them in their relationship when I'm right here, you know? But there's this pattern that's being developed where it, you're in a relationship with somebody who is doing things that, you know, is problematic for you. But it's involving looking at other people and other people's relationships and possibly, you know, a past relationship for them or an ex. And it's like there's this routine of like trying to fix that situation. But, you know, if if they're not putting in the effort here, it may be that, you know, you need to ask, like I said, your friends here on what would be the best thing to do. You know, you may need that kind of support. And I do think that, you know, if you have loved ones, friends around you that are saying, well, you know, maybe it's worth working on. I think you may feel better about giving this person a chance again. But I, I don't know how forgiving you are coming into this, especially if this is something that they, they have continuously been doing. You know, but like I said here, it, it looks like there's a the potential for things to be better. But we can't be lazy about it, right? They really need to show that they want to put in the effort toward you.